Welcome to the Natural Health Show with one of New England's leading natural health care specialists, Mark Mincola. Call Mark at 781-837-4900 on 95.9 WATD. He's waiting to hear from you. Welcome home, Natural Health Nation. As always, this is the time of night on Sunday where you get to clear out the cobwebs and get right with yourself. We're happy to be part of it. Hope you're feeling well and uh, ready to feel even better. That's what we're all about here on the Natural Health Show. Great to have you on board. First thing I want to say is uh, great to have been with everybody down at uh, Personal Best Karate today. Great to meet everybody down there. 250 Main Street, Norton, Mass. Did a book signing, did a talk entitled uh, Optimal Nutrition to Maximize Energy and Power. We're going to kind of carry that theme over because... You know, there was uh, an awful lot of interest in that, great questions by all, and there is indeed an awful lot of interest in the idea of uh, nutrition to maximize energy and power. Of course, Americans these days are inefficient for a number of different reasons. Their health is lacking sorely, and uh, obviously the numbers bear that out, 34% of Americans are obese. NPR just had an interesting interesting summit on the world's foremost metabolic experts, and they estimated that by the year 2020, not very far off, 75% of America, 75% will be overweight and or obese. 75% astounding if the current numbers hold up and if we continue to go in that direction of course we're doing a program such as this hoping that that is not the case and uh, you and i will of course manifest in different forms here to try to clear things out and get things more well and more clean and more healthy for everybody but uh, really you know it's it's a right now it's just a foregone conclusion that the quality of our food is not good the quality of our nutrition and our effort is not good when you consider the fact that uh The food industry is using 2,300 food additives in our foods. 2,300 food additives, including 43 food colors. I didn't know there were that many colors on the planet. So 2,300 food additives, 43 food colors, equaling up a total of 150 pounds of food additives consumed per person per year here in America. So each one of us is... I know I don't. I don't eat that kind of food, but uh, I know an awful lot of people are doing that, unfortunately. And, and of course, this, the statistical data indicates that the average American, whoever that is, is consuming approximately 150 pounds of food additives a year and worse, 16 pounds of pesticides. 16 pounds of pesticides, and uh, our foods are now being uh, genetically modified. Considerably high numbers of our foods out there. Uh, have been genetically modified. And of course, the government, ever reliable, does not require labeling. Always looking out for us, of course. The only thing we're worth is a lousy vote. Corporate America is, of course, worth an awful lot more than that. And that's precisely why your government and mine sees fit to basically leave us to our own devices We are eating foods every day that are genetically modified, unbeknownst to us that have been mixed with a number of other different foods. You know, when you consider the fact that some folks are really life-threatened by certain things, and a lot of folks are subject to anaphylaxis, very serious, serious potential inflammation from food allergies, things like peanuts in many cases, uh, causing anaphylaxis, a number of different people out there. Nonetheless, when you consider the fact that they are gene splicing gene splicing 40% of our food, genetically splicing one food with another. In other words, you could be severely sensitive or allergic to one given food, not even know that you ate it because it has been genetically spliced into the strawberries you just purchased and ate. So the nutty flavor of your brown rice could be spiked with something that you are not capable of digesting. I mentioned strawberries because I read an interesting piece on how they have actually isolated 
a deep swimming fish from the northern climates that over 2,000 years developed a gene to protect it from freezing to death in cold, deep waters. Well, the world of food science decided, hey, let's isolate that gene and let's hit it, with, hit it into our strawberries, <laughs> inject it into our strawberries, and let's protect our strawberries from freezing to death. That's a pretty novel idea for the corporate world because it will prevent losses. It will significantly help them as far as economics go. As far as those of us who are sensitive to whatever that fish is, which, by the way, is not even an edible fish, uh, that's just tough bananas. That's the other thing. Speaking of bananas, they're now trying to develop a genetically modified banana that has antibiotics in it for our kids. Frankenfood time, folks. 16 pounds of pesticides, 150 pounds of food additives, including 2,300 food additives and 43 food colors, and 40% of our food is now genetically modified. Remember food? Do you remember food? I do. Where did it go? Anyway, when we talk about nutrition to maximize energy and power, it begins with real food. Buy organic food, folks. It is time for organic food. I told, told you a number of different times here over the air that uh, a number of years ago, I actually read an interesting piece that I brought to New England Cable News. I did a segment on New England Cable News for eight years, and one segment in particular back in 2005 was uh, based on a study that was done at the University of California. I believe it was Gladys Knight, Dr. Gladys, uh, Gladys Block, I'm sorry, Dr. Gladys Block. And Dr. Gladys Block, who was the head of the nutrition department at UCAL Berkeley, a brilliant woman, great author, did a piece on... Um, the organic differential, the, the, uh, the comparison between non-organic produce versus organic produce. The comparison. The amount of antioxidants in organic produce versus non-organic produce is high as 98% differential. In other words, there's over 98% more antioxidants in organic produce than non-organic produce, according to some of their research. And it averaged like 56% between 33 and, and 56 percent with as high a percentage as 98 percent so hey organic food it's time to protect yourself from genetic modification to protect yourself from pesticides food poisoning food additives toxicity i mean the quality of food is horrendous but this program is about nutrition to maximize energy and power it's all about metabolism it's about stress we're going to talk about all these things but Again, point number one, let's go for real organic food, 100% organic food. Hey, we're going to talk to you more about nutrition to maximize energy and power here on The Natural Health Show. My name is Mark Mincola. Stay right where you are. Hi, this is Laura from Good Health. The new buzzword in nutrition is antioxidants. Even PBS's Dr. Stengler is talking about these natural superstars. Antioxidants are nutrients that can protect us from heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and premature aging. They may also enhance immune defense and lower the risk of cancer and infection. Emerald Labs makes some of our favorite supplements with vitamin A and carotenoids, vitamin C for healthy skin, vitamin E, and selenium proven to guard against cardiovascular and brain disease. One of the most healing antioxidants may be alpha-lipoic acid. Published research shows great promise for those with diabetes, neuropathy, high cholesterol, and sluggish thyroid. You'll want to add this to your health regimen. Visit Good Health in Quinsier, Hanover today. Ask about our super antioxidants by Emerald Labs, New Chapter, and Life Extension. Premium nutrition for your family on sale every day. Learn more at goodhealthnaturalfood.com. And thanks for listening. You know, when most people hear the word allergies, they think only of hay fever-like symptoms associated with airborne pollen, dust, and mold. But did you know that many experts estimate that between 60 and 80 million of us suffer from immune-related food allergies without even knowing it? Furthermore, food allergies often contribute to serious health problems such as autism, irritable bowel syndrome, ADD, headaches, and chronic ear infections. Now, there's an effective way to identify and eliminate both your food allergies and the troubling symptoms that they aggravate. Halitess Medical Labs at foodallergy.com offers a full complement of clinical, environmental, and food allergy testing to help you get to the root of your allergy problems. Halitess also provides you with a comprehensive rotation diet, lifestyle booklet, and a wallet card to help you live food allergy-free and stress-free. Do you wonder if you or your loved ones are among the 60 to 80 million food allergy sufferers in America? If so, log on to Halitess Medical Labs, foodallergy.com. Talk to your doctor about ordering a food allergy test from Halitess Medical Labs today, foodallergy.com. 
make sure the food you're eating isn't what's depleting you. Now back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods, Jarrow Formulas, and Ultimate Healing Journey. Hey, welcome back. Hope your Sunday evening is going smoothly. Hope everybody's healthy and happy, and uh, we're contributing to the furthering of that whole good thing. And uh, we're talking to you tonight about nutrition to maximize energy and power. When we think about power, we think about your your vitality of brain and body and mind. And uh, there's a whole lot of folks reaching out for support in these areas. We say, number one, go for the organic food. It's not, uh, to me, it's not possible to really expect um, food that has been compromised to provide you with what you need at a level of power and energy. Uh, when they think about the word metabolism, metabolism is essentially a chemical a series of chemical reactions that enable us to sustain life and vitality. It's all about energy through metabolism. And again, when you think about poor food, uh, you're talking about food that has absolutely no energy, no vibration, uh, and food that is essentially nothing more than filler. And when you fill up on filler, you're filling up with a whole lot of nothing. And unfortunately, there's a whole lot of that going on these days. So organic produce is the beginning of... Uh, really making the right moves toward uh, nutritional support uh, that provides a higher level of energy and power. Also, I talk to folks about, you know, stress is a really important component as well to maximize your energy and power. When I think about 90% of all doctor visits being stress-related, that's incredible. 90% of all doctor visits being stress-related. Um, you know, I read somewhere not too long ago about a, um, an anthropological study that said that our bodies were designed to be in stress chemistry, you know, to produce the chemistry to react to stress, that, all that adrenaline, 15% of our lifetime, 15% only. Now, do you know anybody that's living in stress 15%? I don't. I mean, people, for, for the most part, are kind of like uh, peak, peekabooing back and forth uh, and peeking out of stress about 15% of the time. So most people are about 85% stressed, and the body just can't handle that. So when you wipe out your adrenal glands and you wipe out your stress system biochemically, hey, there's no energy left in that till. And it uh, is a quick way to burn out your thyroid, which is where your metabolism is really centered. But I always tell people, your thyroid is designed to regulate normal functional day-to-day metabolism until your adrenals kick in. Then it's emergency metabolism time. So when those adrenals get jumped up on coffee, when those adrenals get jumped up on sugar and food coloring and, and uh, poor quality foods, when those adrenals get all jumped up on high starchy carbs, when those adrenals get all jumped up on the stresses of life, because we're all doing a lot more than we can handle, we're all living about as unnaturally as we possibly could and trying to hang in there and adapt through it all. But you know what? Your adrenal glands are where that really, really suffers the most. And as they suffer, as those adrenals really crash, it is virtually impossible to really cultivate any energy or power. Our power and our energy really comes from our, our root, our root, and our root is really our adrenal glands and our kidneys. And when we're producing a lot of stress, there's 45 stress hormones you know, that, that are like adrenaline, epinephrine, uh, aldosterone. 45 of these stress hormones are being constantly flooded through our system each and every day, weakening the heart, weakening the kidneys, and really taking the power base and breaking it down. So when you think about nutrition to maximize your energy and to maximize your power, it really starts with prevention. It really begins with addition through subtraction to try to keep yourself from burning out adrenally, to try to kind of resist the notion of stress. Because when you're into that stress mode, you're gonna go right into compensation. Give me some sugar, quick. Give me a drink, give me a smoke. I mean, these are the things that we constantly look for to try to offset the stress. So you begin this cyclogeny, this cycling back and forth from uh, burnout and stress and tension and all the chemistry that it produces finally flatlines and you gotta, you got to get something in your system to counteract it. That's what caffeine is all about. That's what nicotine is all about. That's what chocolate is about. That's what addiction is about. So it's really easy for us to kind of counter back and forth like that. And once you get into that pendular motion, it goes out of control. And there's no way to cultivate real, viable energy and power. Hey, let's go to the phones. we got Bill from Concord. Bill, welcome to the Natural Health Show. Hi, Dr. McCullough. Thanks for taking my call. Pleasure. Um, well, this is my situation. It's a little complex, but I'll make it as short as possible. I'm, I'm 71 years old. 
Uh, I've been about 50 pounds overweight since 1986 when I stopped smoking. And I thought I was eating a good diet. It was kind of like macrobiotic-like, but I am extremely insulin resistant. So I've eaten too many carbs, mostly vegetarian, not almost no meat and chicken and stuff, but, you know, dairy products and things like that. But I've been carrying 50 pounds for some time. Mm-hmm. So what happened to me recently is I, about three weeks ago, I had about three or four what I would call mild angina attacks for the first time, where I felt a real distress and pressure in the chest while exercising, very mild, like, you know, three miles an hour on a, for three minutes on a treadmill. <clears throat> so as soon as I stopped, it would go away. One night it was, it was, it was kind of bad, one night, and I, I took aspirin, and that made it go away. I said, oops, I have a problem. So I, I did two things. One, I went to the doctor, and the carotid artery test looked great, and my, my echocardiogram looked exactly the way it did 10 years ago because those tests don't show up blockages. But the carotid was clean. But the bottom line is I started doing the Dean Ornish diet, uh, a slight variant of the Dean Ornish diet. It's, eating a, it's a pretty vegan-type diet. Yeah, vegan diet. Pure vegan, just nothing, nothing animal at all. And it was interesting after about nine to ten days all the symptoms of the the the, the, um, the angina went away and, and now I'm even exercising a little and I played golf yesterday and doing things that would just I could feel the beginning of an attack and so the diet has done that so I have two questions one is for something like this and, and I can stay on this for a long time I have the willpower and I eat all organic food uh, would you suggest doing something like chelation or anything else in addition to doing this Dean Ornish-like diet of just pure vegan food? Well, to be honest with you, I, I would probably not, and I'll tell you why. It sounds like your carotid arteries in pretty good shape. It doesn't sound like you have a lot of lipids that are blocking your arteries. Yeah, they were very clean. Yeah, so, so again, chelation, uh, Bill, would be a recommendation if those arteries weren't so clean, and it sounds like they are, so forget that component. Um, there's a great book you want to read. It's called The Sinatra Solution. I talk about it all the time. Okay. We share the same publisher, and uh, his book is all about metabolic cardiology. And it's spelled just like the, the great singer Frank Sinatra, The Sinatra Solution. I've heard of him, but never read about it. Stephen T. has done a great job of that book, and uh, the book is, uh, I think, pretty easy to understand. And uh-huh. A couple really important points. It talks about the importance of grasping the notion that the heart is a muscle. And it's a muscle that never lets loose. It let, never lets go. It never lets loose. It's constantly engaged. The entire lifetime it's engaged. It never right. gets a break. So the notion of mitochondria, you know, the mitochondria are the engine within a cell. So every cell has an engine called mitochondria. And there's no engine mitochondrial response in the human body that is more exhausted and that needs more refilling and more support than the heart mitochondria within the heart muscle. Mm-hmm. So this whole idea of metabolic cardiology is a revolutionizing way of looking at heart disease. And it says, look, we want to make sure, if nothing else, that the, the concept of congestive heart failure is counteracted by increasing the amount of energy delivered to the mitochondria within the heart muscle. Mm-hmm. There's, products called, there's one product called GPLC. Mm-hmm. GPLC. That stands for glycine propionyl L-carnitine, but you can just think of it as G, P as in Peter, L as in Leroy, and C as in Charles, GPLC. 500 milligrams twice a day, real important, real important. What it does, listen to this, it not only fuels the mitochondria within the heart, it actually takes the fatty acids, the lipids that cause all kinds of heart disease problems, and it actually converts those fats into usable mitochondrial energy. I understand. So it actually is uh, performing two really important supportive tasks at the same time. The Let other me th- ask you this. Yep. Because my doctor said, given that you had these a bunch of events where you, you, you were having um, uh, angina and then relieved it with like chewing an aspirin, he said you could easily be in one of your arteries that did not show up in any test yet around 90% clogged. And, and that's why... D, from what I knew about Dean Ornish, she said you could reverse that with the diet. Yes, you can. So there's probably maybe one artery that has a clot. Now, I've turned down, I turned down the stress test because I know of people that had heart attacks induced during stress tests. Sure. And I turned down the CAT scan because it's so darn toxic. And maybe that was a mistake, but so I don't really know if I have, like, one pretty good-sized blockage or not. Mm-hmm. 
Um, well, but I've turned those tests down because I said, well, I don't want a stent or a bypass. I just want to eat well. And yeah, I know course. that will open it up. And then doing these things you mentioned sound great as well. I concur. And the other thing you might want to think about, serapeptase, S-E-R-R-A. Yeah. P-E-P-T-A-S-E, serapeptase. Uh -huh. I'd recommend two of those a day. Generally, those are like 100,000 units. Um, what do they do? Well, serapeptase is actually an enzyme from the silkworm. Mm. It's been used in Chinese medicine for over 3,000 years. It's used in all the hospitals in Germany and France. They use it instead of aspirin. Uh -huh. And it has many of the same antipyretic properties. Uh -huh. It's an anti-inflammatory. And by the way, to me, the, the first thing I wanted to say is one of the reasons why you found an improvement almost immediately with diet, Bill, is because you left behind inflammatory foods. And, and foods, again, I'm assuming that you had dairy in the past, is that correct? Yeah, I had some dairy. Red meat? Sort of vegetarian junk food. Peanuts? Peanuts, chips. Okay. Egg, any, ever any egg yolks? Yeah, uh, sometimes. All right, so those are all represented. And by the way, my CRP is 13 as of three weeks ago, which okay. is pretty darn high. Pretty darn high. And that's indicative of, of the real core of the problem, because really when you study heart, uh, any kind of heart disease from the standpoint of metabolic cardiology, what you realize is it's all about inflammation. That's why you've already made a big difference, and I would keep going that road. Uh -huh. The objective is to lower the arachidonic acid. Those foods that we just talked about that are part of the common American diet, that were what's called the standard American diet, or the SAD diet, as I like to call it, right. uh, that you were consuming a great deal of, unfortunately, is really what the crux of the problem is all about. <coughs> you want to read another great book about all that stuff, The China Study by Colin T. Campbell. Yes, I read that a couple weeks ago, cover to cover, and I went, wow. There you go. So it's an ongoing 37-year experiment, uh, experiment uh, an epidemiological experiment right. that has looked at over 3 million people, and the bottom line of it is, the less inflammatory animal-type foods you consume, the better your heart's going to be. Dr. McCall, I, I have one more question sure, related to this, and that's the form of the diet I went on. What I did is I'm eating like 8 to 10 cups of raw and cooked vegetables a day, but I've been following something called the ideal protein diet in which to, to people who have extreme insulin resistance, they try to put you in an alkaline, all-vegan state of ketosis. Sure. Uh, so I'm eating about 500, uh, I'm, eating, I'm eating about 60 grams a day of protein, and it's all powder in the form of a sprouted rice and sprouted peas, uh, all non-GMO. So I, I'm eating 60 to 65, I'm eating high protein, I'm eating no carbohydrate virtually, no peas, no carrots, no corn. And then, Wait a minute, you're eating no high starch carbohydrate. I'm eating no high starch carbohydrate. Because so broccoli is a carbohydrate. I'm vegetables strictly. Right. And a lot of it, and then about 65, 65 to 70 grams a day of this protein to go into a state of intentional, what they call healthy ketosis. So after being fat for so many years, you start eating about 1,000 thousand calories of your fat a day, and the, the idea that they talk about in this ideal protein thing is that they give your they give your pancreas a rest and a chance to detoxify and resuscitate and go back to normal after a couple months. Uh, does going into a state of, quote, alkaline, as they say, healthy ketosis, does that make sense to you? Or is that a risky thing to do or... I just wondered. I mean, I. Well, Dr. Michael Brown back in 1984 from MIT won two Nobel Prizes uh, for his research in coenzyme A reductase. HMG coenzyme A reductase basically infer, refers to the fact that 80% of the lipids and the cholesterols and all the artery clogging agents in the body are produced by insulin. Mm -hmm. And so insulin is obviously triggered by a lot of starchy, sugary right. stuff. So as you point out, building up all that kind of fat over years needs to be antagonized. And the best way to do that is to shock it out of the system well, by moving yeah. more into a, a protein direction. The, the only thing I would say, Bill, I'm not really wild about the, the protein powders. Um, I still am a whole food kind of guy. So for you to be using proteins that are whole food proteins uh, would be the direction I well, go. Well, the only way to get the protein that doesn't have, because this stuff is, you know, 100 calories per scoop, 2 grams of carbohydrate and yep. 20 grams of protein. And to, get the, and to get enough protein, I'd be eating too, too much carbohydrate unless I start eating fish or egg whites. Exactly my point. I would, uh, that's all I'm saying is, is that I like everything you're doing, uh, but I would recommend fish and egg whites. And, and you don't think that would screw up the, 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 nope. the reversal Not at of, all. of the Dean Ornish diet by eating egg whites and fish? No, as a matter of fact, it's just my opinion that if you think about the fish, the fish is an alpha-linolenic acid fat. 
So that's an anti-inflammatory. That's going to antagonize the the, uh, the COX-2 eicosanoids in your system. So that actually, you know, we've read all the great studies about fish oils and that whole business. So I would say that would be... So you can supplement it and minimize the amount of powder and start using real, real food like egg whites. And, exactly and, right. And and the white, th- maybe small white fish that doesn't have much mercury. You in got it. exactly the point. That's exactly right. And I also feel like the idea of... Uh, and minimize the amount of powder. Yeah, those powders are really high in arginine. And arginine is not my favorite thing to load people up on. I just feel like uh-huh. in this day and age when you've got so many mu- mutated and I believe engineered viruses that are floating around out there getting worse every year and more more, uh, re- more able to kind of resist a lot of our treatments and a lot of our vitamins and whatnot. The viruses are getting pretty tricky and pretty advanced. And I think you want to be really careful about too much arginine because those viruses will feed off arginine. So a lot of those protein powders to yeah. me are going to be the virus food of the future. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so the reversal, this wonderful reversal that's happened will probably still continue even with egg whites and a modest amount of fish. No ifs, ands, or buts. I because, could have some every day. And there's one word why, too. There's, there's a, these proteins are going to increase the glucagon production in your bloodstream, and those will carry off a lot of that stuff. I mean, it was miraculous how this stopped after 12, 10 days. You know, I've been through this I was for 30 years. I've non-stop. been through this thousands of times with people over 30 years. And medicine still turns a blind eye to it, and they still don't believe it can happen. They're all about well, drug, drug, drug. I'm going to continue with the ketosis diet, uh, modified, like you said, because it's a wonderful opportunity to burn this 50-inch stomach off me relatively quickly. Great. Get it down to something manageable. Hey, congratulations. We salute hey, listen, your hard thanks. work. Uh, this has been a great conversation. I deeply appreciate the service you do. You have no idea how many people um, are, are grateful for you being on the air. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with Maximizing Your Energy and Power with Nutrition. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Mark Mincola. You know, over the past decade, the Natural Health Show has attracted many thousands of avid listeners. I'd like to extend an open invitation to all potential new sponsors to join our Natural Health Show family. If you own a Heart Smart Lighter Fair or seafood restaurant, a fitness or day spa, or if you're an allied health professional or coach, the Natural Health Show is the perfect place for you to make the direct connection with your demographic target. If you really want to zero in and aim the message of your vision directly at those who want to most know about it, join the Natural Health Show family of sponsors. I promise you'll be glad you did. For information, call Candida at 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. With the burgeoning growth of the Natural Health Show, now's the perfect time to share in that growth together. Do you want to have less stress in your life, enjoy terrific relationships, experience increased happiness, and reduce stress through a balanced life? Then you need to call professional career and life coach Dawn Quiznell at 508-520-9933. Coach DQ utilizes a unique process of advanced communication and goal-setting strategies that enables the person being coached to fulfill their potential in both their professional and personal lives, helping you identify your personal dreams and business goals, strengths and weaknesses that could hinder or help you attain your goals, and develop a plan to achieve these goals built on a strong foundation of systematic proven practices and values. Your career affects your life, and your life affects your career. Finding a balance isn't always easy. Coach DQ can help you design the life you want at work, at play, at home, and with friends. So call today, 1-508-520-9933, or visit us online at careerlifebalance.net. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Healthy Living Magazine and Alates Medical Laboratory. All righty, we are dedicated to maximizing your energy and your power through nutrition. That's what this is all about tonight, and uh, that was a great conversation with Bill. We appreciate that call. And uh, we want to basically make sure that you get the picture here about thyroid and the whole concept of thyroid being a really important uh, member of your energy-producing machinery and your power-producing machinery. Again, my contention is that uh, it all begins with prevention, and if you prevent stress, contend with stress, take care of your stress through, you know, meditation, tai chi, yoga, or just change your mind. That's, you know, I was a much more stressed out person than I am uh, currently, but uh, it took me about 10, 15 years to really reformat, reprogram, and uh, re-download myself. I just reject the whole concept of stress 
And uh, it's really, really important to do so. And and there's many different ways to commit yourself and dedicate yourself to uh, changing your mind. But again, I think it's the single most important conceptual uh, aspect of maximizing your energy and your power. Because again, when that stress level is really high and it's out of control and it's kind of beating you up, you're producing hormones, you're producing stress hormones that are uh, very, very demanding on the body and specifically demanding on your thyroid as well as your adrenal glands. So um, what is it, uh, 40%, I think it was uh, Dr. Stephen Langer, uh, who is the author of Solved the Riddle of Illness and who was the former uh, executive head of the Broda Barnes Research Foundation in Trumbull, Connecticut, which is the foremost and the most respected thyroid research center on the planet. And uh, he claims that 40% of all thyroids are abnormal and they're un diagnosed. So 40% of America is walking around with a bad thyroid and doesn't even know it. Uh, a lot of it is unfortunately flying under the radar. Medicine is not screening it properly. Uh, Broda Barnes suggests five different tests plus a basal test and medicine does not do all that testing. Of all the different tests, they recommend T3, T4, TSH, antithyroid antibody and a free T3, which many physicians won't even run. I just got an email from a patient this morning saying, my doctor won't run my free T3. You know what I said? She said, what do I tell him? I said, tell him goodbye. How about finding another doctor? People forget that the world of healthcare is a service industry. You go to a bad restaurant, you get a bad meal, you send it back. You got a doctor who won't play ball with you, won't work with you, send him back. Simple as that. So anyway, she's, uh, she's going to say goodbye to that doc, and that's great. Find, have an interview. Sit down and talk to people. Make sure they're going to work with you. You're really the, the most important equation, not the doctor. Um, so anyway, the key point here is uh, you want to make sure that you run those T3, T4, TSH, antithyroid antibody, and free T3s. That is according to the Broda Barnes Research Foundation, of course. Number six, the most important thing, according to Dr. Steve Langer and, and the Broda Barnes people, make sure you run a basal temperature test. You can do that yourself at home. How do you do that? Real simple. Keep the thermometer by the bedstand. Shake it down before you fall asleep. So before you fall asleep at night, shake that thermometer down, put it on the bed stand. You wake up first thing in the morning, those eyes open up, put it under your left arm. Leave that thermometer under your left arm for 10 minutes. Record your temperature for three consecutive days. Add those three days worth of temperatures. Divide by three. There's your three-day average, which is exactly what you want to do, a three-day basal temperature average. The norms, 97.8. 98.2. Again, 97.8 to 98.2. If you're in that range, you're good to go. If, however, you're under 97.8, you likely have a low thyroid function. And if you do, I'd recommend a couple natural supplements, whether you're on uh, medications or not. And again, most folks who are on thyroid meds, unfortunately, are only on T4-only medicines. And uh, there's a lot of folks like yours truly that have a we have a bone of contention with that that approach. I would ask you to go to a website. Go to a website that is entitled StopTheThyroidMadness.com. StopTheThyroidMadness.com. Pretty thorough site. Uh, it's actually a very active site. It's uh, always renewing itself. And it's really uh, more of a blog type site, but it talks about the importance of making sure that you're uh, being tested not only for T4, but T3 as well, as we said earlier. And if need be, being medicated for T3 as well as T4. That's muy importante and often overlooked. So let's say you're properly medicated. You know the score. You know your basal temperature. You're up and running. Your temperatures are low and your energy is low and your hair is dry and falling out. And you just don't uh, find it easy to lose weight even though you're eating pretty doggone well and exercising voraciously. What could you do? Well, natural recommendations. Zinc gluconate. Zinc gluconate. 50 milligrams a day. Selenomethionine. S-E-L-E-N-O. Selenomethionine. M-E-T-H-I-O-N-I-N-E. Selenomethionine. 200 mcgs a day. And in the form of iron, I recommend Floravital. F-L-O-R-A. V-I-T-A-L at least one tablespoon three times a day. And if your iron's really low, you need two tablespoons three times a day. Finally, if you're not sensitive to iodine, how can you tell that? Well, if you've ever had shellfish and you didn't get sick, 
And if you're a, 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 re, a repeat or a frequent shellfish consumer and you've never had any problems, no history of difficulties with it, then you're fine with iodine. Then you want to add kelp tablets, K-E-L-P, 150 mcgs, two per day. Hey, if folks are losing track of this stuff because I'm moving quicker than they, their pen is moving, which is often the case, I'd simply recommend that you go to our website because this will be up uh, and actively uh, visible on our website sometime probably by Tuesday or so because we are podcasting this evening. So uh, the website is www.maxhealing.com, just one word, Max Healing, Max Healing, M-A-X-H-E-A-L-I-N-G.com. It will be on there, and you can check it all out and kind of go back over the notes make sure you got it right. So you want to make sure that you take uh, those supplements and make sure that your diet is, like we talked about with Bill, you want to make sure that diet is actually a healthy diet that's not high in starch. One of the things uh, he talked about is his sensitivity to insulin. 34% of America, according to experts, 34% of America has metabolic syndrome, inflammatory problem from the result of very high insulin foods in the diet, too much starch, too much comfort food. Again, go back to stress. If you take care of your stress at the stress root level, changing your mind, as I keep saying, and really working at that, then you won't have to find yourself being driven in the direction of comfort foods. Because really what comfort foods are all about are foods that are high in insulin, that produce high levels of GABA in the brain, gamma aminobutyric acid, and uh, high levels of serotonin. You know, trying to comfort yourself, trying to comfort your stressed out brain and mind with food. You're left to the devices of very inflammatory, insulin-rich, sugary, gooey, sticky, carby, starchy foods. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Unfortunately, it's uh, not doing a whole lot of people a lot of good. Again, 34% of Americans have metabolic syndrome, inflammation from too much insulin, too much starch that produces a lot of fat in the body that becomes very, very serious in terms of the, the threat factor, the risk factors. So, in terms of foods that you want to consume, I say a sample diet would look something like this for maximum energy and maximum power. I say three proteins a day. The average American diet or standard American diet, the SAD diet, often has a little bit of protein at lunch in the form of a sandwich, a little bit of protein at night in the form of chicken or something like that or turkey or beef. And then with that, they have a baked potato at night. So, there's two starches right there. Breakfast in America is all about metabolic syndrome and is all about insulin resistance because breakfast in America is about toast. It's about bagels. It's about pancakes. It's about waffles. It's about cereal. It's about orange juice. Breakfast in America is all about insulin. It's all about health issues. So before we even go out the door, we are in big trouble. Now, when you're 14 years old and you're doing that, who cares? But by the time you're 28 or 38 or 48 years old and you've kept those habits going, you would be in some real big trouble. So the objective is to start steering in the direction of three proteins a day, protein at breakfast, protein at lunch, protein at dinner. Breakfast, egg whites, as we said with Bill. That's a pretty easy way, pretty easy way to get the protein at breakfast. Protein at breakfast, egg whites. Sometimes folks do smoothies. Smoothies from things like uh, tofu. The type of tofu that I usually recommend for a smoothie is the uh, silken, S-I-L-K-E-N, silken. Half a cake of silken provides you a little bit of protein and a real nice smoothie additive. Brings a nice texture to the smoothies. You can throw your uh, piece of fruit and some vegetable in there or something like that, but uh, that's a great way to get some protein as well. I occasionally even recommend for folks that don't mind using a little bit of poultry, using the Applegate Farms poultry sausage. Those are organic poultry sausage, pretty lean, organic, and pretty healthy. Again, another protein option. Lunch and dinner, pretty easy. You want to take a protein and a green. So if lunch, you bring some leftovers from dinner from the night before. Chicken, turkey, fish, really lean, baked or broiled proteins with uh, an abundance of green leafy vegetables. Organic, as we said earlier at the outside of the broadcast, go organic, 100% organic. 
And again, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be rich to buy organic. To me, you have to be really uh, concerned about your health and your well-being. Better to spend the money on food than, than the ER. So uh, you can actually use the uh, three-protein approach with two or three veggies a day, mid-morning a piece of fruit, mid-afternoon. I say good healthy fat because two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, the energy goes boom, hits the wall. One of the most important things to do when that energy hits the wall because your cortisol is starting to dip. Again, you get up in the morning, your adrenaline is up to push you out the door and push you through the day. But about three o'clock, that adrenaline starts to, starts to diminish. So your cortisol, your adrenal levels start to dip. Your blood sugar starts to dip. I say good fat is important at that time. So a third of an avocado, maybe some almonds, some almond butter, soy nut butter. To put it on apples or celery sticks, these are really healthy ways to get some good sustainable fat without a lot of insulin triggering starch mid-afternoon. And uh, make sure you drink plenty of water. All really important. Keep those cells hydrated. Um, lastly, but not leastly, not that that's a word, but who cares? This is radio. And Tim liked it. <laughs> lastly, but not leastly, we'd like to recommend the idea of alkalizing your pH Potential hydrogen. We're going to talk about that in just a moment or two. Let's say hello to Candita. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to talk to you. What's going on? Nothing. I just want to applaud you for a lecture today that you did at Personal Best, which was absolutely amazing. Oh, you're very nice. Thank you. Everybody left with like a clean slate and ready to start their day. Ready to go. Ready to charge out the door and get it, get it done, right? And I heard you saying that it was like your 60,000 client that you have seen this past week? Uh, no, that was the 3rd of May. I was saying 60,000 appointments as of May 3rd. Absolutely true. That's like incredible. I want to applaud you for that. You're amazing. I'm still seeing 12 to 15 people a day, even now. <laughs> it's, there's no end in sight. Where, where is this all coming from? It's, it's been a wonderful experience, Candida. You know that I feel that way. And, I, uh, I really enjoy the work, and I enjoy making a difference, and it's uh, a great honor and pleasure for me to have the opportunity to try to make a difference while I'm on the planet. You know, that's, we don't come here to re rehearse. We come here to get it done. This is, uh, that's right. This is well, the place. Well, you're getting it done. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And it was a great saw, effort. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was touching. People felt like they had tangible, you know, things that they could go home with and they could start doing in their daily lives that will help their health and well-being and... It's amazing. Well, thank you for organizing it. You did a great job as well. Thank you. Well, you know, they all come to see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was it was a great honor and pleasure. And, uh, you know, Chris Rappold and, and Tracy Rappold do such a great job down at Personal Best. They're such fine people. And we've been in and out of that place for 14 years working with all the folks down in Norton and, and all the uh, the great extended family and clients that he has and his wonderful, wonderful practice. And uh, and it's just a great, uh, a great pleasure to get down there from time to time and touch bases. It's kind of like an extended family for me, and it's truly a joy. Absolutely. And thank you so and much. Like what world, world champion? Isn't he yeah, like he a is. Yeah, Chris is. That, that's three-time world karate gold medalist. That's yeah. Crazy. Well, what's really amazing is he was the two-time gold medalist in his in his thirties. Uh, in his 20s, between his 20s and his early 30s, he won two gold medals, which is really remarkable. And then, you know, it took 10 years off and raised a family and whatnot. And then, and then one day he woke up in his mid-40s and says, I wonder if I can still do this. And everybody said, you're crazy. You're 40 years old. You're not 20 years old anymore. And uh, he took on the challenge. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud to say that he is once again the third, for a third time, I should say, the world karate gold medal champion. And he is an inspiring and a great person. And I love working with him, and, and I've had great, uh, uh, great uh, experiences training him nutritionally and biochemically. And boy, he is a a stalwart, hard worker. I can tell you that he is no lazy guy. That's for sure. Well, he's a big fan of yours, and we're a big fan of his. And Vice we thank versa. him for being a part of our family at the Natural Health Mason. Indeed, we do. And uh, <laughs> again, we thank you for so much uh, support on your part as well, Candida. I know. Could you believe ten years? No, incredible. Ten years is uh, a great feat on your part, and tell the folks a little bit about that. Yep, ten years. I started Healthy Living Magazine from my home, and 
It's been going with great success, thanks to all the supporters that we've had. And now we're actually um, we're, we're going over the bridge, we're going on the Cape. So we have our event coming up on October 20th, and I'm so excited to have our magazine launch on the Cape. And I'm, I'm really happy, and I thank all of you. That's great. Congratulations on your 10th anniversary and a job well done. Well, thank you. And thank you so much for calling, and you have a great night, and enjoy those beautiful kids. Thank you. All right, have a good night. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to take a short little break. We'll be right back with maximizing your energy and power with nutrition. Stay right where you are. Are you one of the 20 million Americans suffering from neuropathy, shingles, or chronic nerve pain? In the last three years, many people have discovered excellent and affordable treatment for diabetic, post-chemotherapy, and other types of neuropathy and chronic pain. Dr. John Hayes, chiropractic physician since 1981 on Route 53 in Norwell, has had such astounding results with his unique neuropathy program that he's now teaching his remarkable system to doctors around the country. His most recent book, entitled Beating Neuropathy, remains a bestseller. In fact, Dr. John Hayes is the world's exclusive educator and trainer for Rebuilder Medical Technologies. Call Dr. Hayes' office 24-7 to schedule a free neuropathy analysis. Call 781-659-7989. That's 781-659-7989. Call now while free neuropathy analysis slots are open. Are you ready to take the ultimate healing journey? Hi, this is Mark Cole. Let me introduce you to mind, body, spirit practitioner, Debbie Lynn Toomey, owner of Ultimate Healing Journey. She is committed to inspiring and providing services of harmony, health, and well-being. Debbie Lynn provides a path to self-empowerment, self-discovery, and healing by teaching you unique, easy-to-use, and effective mind, body, and spirit practices. Her multidimensional technique and guidance help those who have lost their internal compass, assisting them in finding and reclaiming their authentic, masterful self. Hi. I am Debbie Lynn Toomey. As you embark upon this ultimate journey of healing with me, you will begin to recognize the sacred place of true beauty, freedom, joy, and love within you. You will discover your magnificent and powerful self. So call Debbie Lynn Toomey of Ultimate Healing Journey today. I personally recommend her. Call me at 617-653-2561. Visit ultimatehealingjourney.com and like Ultimate Healing Journey on Facebook. The only journey is the one within. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by i free to be and Dr. Mustando of Marshfield Chiropractic. Artie, we promised uh, we were going to chat with you about pH for a moment or two here, and that's exactly what we're about to do right now. The idea of pH is so very important to the idea of energy and power with nutri- through nutrition. Uh, pH stands for potential hydrogen. And when you think about hydrogen, think about water. And uh, you think about the idea that water puts out fire. Hydrogen is H2O. I mean, water is H2O, rather, which is really what hydrogen is all about. And again, it puts out the fire of inflammation, which degenerates because acid and stress are degenerative. And acidity will speed up the aging process. And uh, illness is all born from acidity because as acidity degenerates your tissues and weakens you, It really allows for your immune system to really become uh, compromised to the extent where germs, bacteria, viruses can actually make headway. So acidity really is very degenerative and it compromises cells and protection gets compromised as well. So disease becomes unfortunately much more risky with an acid condition. So stress produces acid. And when I say stress, I don't just mean mental stress, emotional stress. I'm talking physical, cellular, chemical stress as well. Junky food produces chemical stress. Of course, we are hit with both ends of it because we tend to live a very stressful life mentally and physically in this culture. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people aging more quickly and getting more and more fatigued and exhausted at earlier and earlier ages than they ought to. So if you want to maximize your energy and power, really got to make sure you buffer your cells to protect them from degenerative acidity. So the best way to do that is actually liquid chlorophyll. Liquid chlorophyll is something you can purchase right down in good old Good Health Natural Foods. Get on down to Hanover or Quincy and get yourself some liquid chlorophyll. You want to take two tablespoons in four ounces of water three times a day and buffer those cells and alkalize your body. Get your pH strips, too, while you're down there because you can actually determine what your, stra- what your pH numbers are. 
So if you test your first morning's urine, you want to be between 6.4 and 6.8. So you get the urinary strips at good health. Those are the 0.067 Fidrian strips. Those are calibrated just right in tenths. Beautifully made. Well, well designed. You urinate on those strips first thing in the morning. They're color-coded, and you get a corresponding number. You pee on that strip, and it's going to give you a number. You want to be between 6.4 and 6.8. The numbers range between 5.0 and 8.0. So if you are between 5.0 and 6.3, you are acidic. And if it doesn't change color at all, you are very acidic and in big trouble. And you better get that chlorophyll going and a half a teaspoon of baking soda and five ounces of water early evening or before bed. And the baking soda needn't be too much of a concern for folks with uh, hypertension because folks with hypertension can just cut it to one quarter of a teaspoon. Again, baking soda is only 35% sodium, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. But you got to alkalize and get a buffer. And that's how you preserve cells and slow the aging process and keep the mitochondria in those cells active and energizing. Keep in mind, the cells really require preservation because they have motors in them called mitochondria. And those little motors are what give you energy and power. So if you really want more clarity of mind, sharp, crisp thinking, good memory, high mind energy, high brain energy, high body energy, something that people are sorely, sorely deficient in these days. It's not that tough. Stop wearing it out. It's a matter of addition through subtraction. Stop burning out your precious cells. So as I said earlier, change your mind, change your diet, change your life. You have the power. You know, it's not this idea of just living erroneously out of control and then falling prey to dependency on pharmaceutical support. That is the old lie. Time for the new horizon. Roll up your sleeves. Assume the power that you have over your life. Take the great information that is suddenly at last out there and run with it. Make a great difference. I've been so fortunate to see so many people make great life-changing differences in their lives over 30 years. In- inspiring, incredible. I'm not the inspiring, I am the inspired. I've been of great fortune to be able to observe people who are inspired, who taught me, my patients or my teachers, and they've gifted me with a bird's eye view, a front row seat of what it means to maximize your energy and power at your own hand. Remarkable stuff. So much of this information is really designed to help you to craft changes to transform your life and transform your health. It'll work. I watch it work every day for 30 years. So uh, if ever I thought that 30 years ago I was going to end up where I, where I ended up right now, I would have uh, I'd be lying to you. I never expected it. But uh, again, it works. Nature had it all worked out. 30 years ago, I used to think to myself, well, Natural health is about eating clean, healthy food. It's got to make a difference. Nature has an entire plan worked out. It was always perfect. It never, ever faltered. It has no weaknesses. And I've just been fortunate as over the past 30 years to have observed it consistently and continually respond in a way that you would expect. So taking the time to improve your nutrition, as we said earlier this evening, to a quality of organic produce, a quality of good, clean eating, a high-quality program that is not high in insulin and sugars and starches and, and comfort foods to try to offset your stresses, which are demanding of comfort to, to try to somehow compensate, you know, to change the mind. I'd refer you to a book as far as changing your mind goes. I should have mentioned that earlier. Dr. Richard Bandler. One of my favorite authors, a magnificent man. Dr. Richard Bandler wrote a book called Trance, T-R-A-N-C-E, Trance, Dash, 
Formations. Trance Formations. Magnificent book. Simple, easy to read. You can get it done pretty quickly. And at the end of each chapter, there are specific mind exercises that are dynamite. He is the father of neurolinguistic programming. Dr. Richard Bandler. Trance Formations. That book is worth its weight in gold. So change that mind, change that body, and uh, find your way to maximize energy and power. And we're up against that, uh, that clock again, so I'm going to have to quickly mention a couple different things here. Once again, I'd like to thank Christopher Rappold and Tracy Rappold at Personal Best Karate in uh, Norton, Mass., for their wonderful hospitality today at the great event in book signing, the, the talk and book signing we did this afternoon down there. Great program. And we thank them as always. Thank you, Candida, for putting it together. I want to refer you to the website again. Max Healing, one word, maxhealing.com, maxhealing.com. And uh, this particular podcast for this particular show, Nutrition to Maximize Energy and Power, will be up and running probably no later than uh, early Tuesday evening, maybe uh, Wednesday, Wednesday morning or so. So you'll be able to get a lot of these notes that perhaps went by too quickly for you. So we recommend you to uh, that particular video as well. And uh, we usually are on Ustream, but uh, I neglected to bring my laptop. <laughs> so Ustream will have to wait it out until midweek as well. So unfortunately, we're not live on Ustream tonight, but we are live on WATD. So there you go. You were fortunate to be part of that experience. We love having you on board with us. And we thank you so much for being here on The Natural Health Show. This is Mark McCullough reminding you all, please be wise, be aware, be well, make it a healthy week. Good night.